Hello there everyone, it's Kathy with Paper Phenomenon and I'm surrounded by beautiful things right now and it makes me so, so happy. This is These are the embellishments from one of my newest collections titled Seaside Escape and I haven't given this collection the attention that it needs and that's been for various reasons. So I wanted to highlight the embellishments just so you can see the embellishments only that you get in your paper collection. Uh, I'll share the papers with you at the end of this video, but I just wanted you to see these embellishments in all their, in their finest. I mean, look at this guys, look at this. So let me explain these embellishments to you right now. Uh, so I always use a combination of the printed and the digital. If if the printed is available. And right now, most of my collections are being printed. Uh, and the reason why I use a combination of the digital and the printed version, and what I mean by printed version is the actual hard copy, um, is because I like to print my embellishments out in mirror image, all right? Mirror image is what I like to do because they they serve a purpose. I mean, look at this, look at the size of this embellishment. They serve a purpose in the way that I mat and the way that I decorate here on Paper Phenomenon. And uh, I just, I love it. Love, love, love to do the mirror image. So that's why you see two of each of these. All right, see that? But not printed twice, the second version, the second copy is printed in the mirror image so you can do a front and back. And you may ask, why do you do this, Kathy? And I'm gonna show you why. Uh, I like to suspend my embellishments, and this is very, very, um, this is a paper phenomenon style of matting. Um, I do this all the time. So I like to suspend my embellishments from the edges of a project like this see that can you imagine a photo and then this off the edge beautiful pattern paper of course so let's let's snap let's put a little paper clip on here so this is the reason why i do mirror image just like this just to, to do things like this then the size of my the sizes of my embellishments are also very very unique in that this, they're pretty oversized. I do this for two reasons. Uh, for the digital collection, you can always size down, right? And then the printed collection, I like large embellishments because I like to consider these pocket stuffers, right? In this case, I would not stuff this chameleon in there. I would probably put them right here off the edge of the page because I think that's just adorable absolutely adorable but like for instance let's take this handbag i would create a little pocket out of this handbag and put a photo mat in it okay and i've showed you this throughout my crafting uh career let's call it right so of course i would cut the the photo mat accordingly but even this one fits if we just glue here and here and you make it interactive and it has a back, okay? Now I have a solution for those of you who just do the printed copy, all right? And you don't have a printer to print the embellishments out in a mirror image. There's a solution for that. But let's go back to the size. So like these t-shirts, look at this, look at this, look at this tee. This t-shirt would make an excellent pocket stuffer where the reason why it's that size is that so you can see it, you can see it in the pocket. Uh, small embellishments, uh, they just don't function for what I like to do. So I like to layer, and I would layer this t-shirt and this handbag right there in the project. By the way, this project is called the Grad Album, is what we're remixing in uh, on Friday. So if you'd love to make the, if you would like to make this album, you can pick up the tutorial. It's in my shop. It's called the Grad Album and it's featuring the gorgeous um Flutter and Bloom collection. Anyway, so that's why I do large embellishments because I like to use them as pocket stuffers 
or just showstopper pieces, guys. Showstopper pieces. Can you imagine the layered look here? And if these were small embellishments, you can't do this. You can't do this with small embellishments. All right, look at that. So look, look at this. Oh my gosh, I forgot. Look, look at this guy <laughs> or this gal. She looks like a girl. Let's call her a girl. Let's call her Susie. Look at Susie, how adorable. And I'm going to call this guy Bud. This is Bud and Susie. Look it, look it, look it, look. How adorable. So you can do a layered look. That would be adorable, right? But in the pocket, my friends. Or mirror image like so. In this case, I wouldn't do these two because I feel like the back is wasted, right? If I do that. But, and I just realized I'm off camera. If I do that... So you can have two of these, but this is one of the things I would do a, an interactive embellishment. My pocket would be off the side for this one, not, not, not out of the top. And then I would stick it in the pocket. So there's just a little insight as to why I, my embellishments are more on the larger side. Look at this. How gorgeous is this little pot? Oh my gosh. And of course, some sentiments, tropical paradise. Oh, look at the beautiful fonts on this one, waves. We've got some really cute florals here as well. I love these. And uh, a postcard moment, love that. Look at this, look at this. How fun would this be <clears throat> suspended off of a tag? And I'd like to show you what I would do here so that it doesn't tear. Um, you know what? I'll tell you now. I would reinforce this with some fishing line right here all the way down. Right here. That way it won't, it will not tear. All right. Because doing it with cardstock, it's going to be hard. Doing it with uh, Tyvek, it's going to be hard to cut around it. But if you take some fishing line, Take some glossy accents and fishing line. And I'll show you when we work on a project with this particular uh, paper collection. It will You would reinforce this whole section right here and it won't tear. You can actually suspend it off of the edge and it will not tear because the fishing line, let me just show you. Um, I have two gauges. I would, use, I would use a thinner gauge, I have two. And when we get to this project, I'll tell you what gauge I recommend, but it would work perfectly, okay? So look at the difference between this leaf and this leaf here. So you get a really nice variation in size. Again, the name of this collection is called Seaside Escape. And yes, I'm just highlighting right now the embellishments. I'll show you the papers at the end of this video. They're equally as gorgeous, but I feel like the papers get lost. Uh, the embellishments always are an afterthought because the papers are just so gorgeous. Look how fun. Some file folders. You get some coin envelopes in the collection. Uh, all of the embellishments you see here also come in the printed collection. Uh, the difference between the printed and the digital is that uh, the, the, uh, the papers, let me think, the papers uh, you don't get, you get more in the digital collection than you would the printed, uh, in the printed, because I can't include all of the colors in a paper pack. Otherwise my paper packs would be $60. So I try to keep it, uh, economical and I pick, you know, it's hard to choose, but I choose And Just remember that the digital version has more than the printed, not the embellishments. I include all the embellishments in the printed. And, uh, but with the, the digital, you get more pattern papers. Look at this. Again, I will use the fishing line here. It's thin enough that I can manipulate it to go right around this so that this doesn't tear. Okay. Look at this book cover. So we will make a book out of this, like a little journal cover and just beautiful, beautiful foliage. Oh my gosh. I forgot about these. I love these wax seals. I forgot that I asked Salty Beach Scrapper for wax seals. Look at that. Look at, look at, look at the pollinators here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, how gorgeous. Maybe should have put some bees in here, but I didn't. Look at this wax seal. 
how gorgeous this one and this one all right so the collection is gorgeous Ugh, i need a plant like this in my life with this with these reds or pinkish stems how gorgeous so i just wanted to share these amazing embellishments with you and i cannot wait for these to come to life in a project i think it's going to be absolutely gorgeous look at these paper clips i forgot to show you these so cute and can you just picture it guys no pun intended this palm tree suspended from the edge of something i don't know what don't know what yet but oh maybe right here look this is a pocket this is a pocket so this palm tree right off the edge of this pocket here oh my goodness this is a case where i would absolutely use the front and the back just to um make it a little bit uh sturdier because you know the in and out of the pocket i don't i wouldn't want to ruin the embellishment i like for my things to be very very usable but look at this over here too on this side that would be here right off of this edge i may have to stick it in a little bit more look at that i would probably do that right here and right here and you'll have it in the front and in the back look at that look at that how gorgeous would that be and when you flip you have the palm tree in the back as well so i would stick it in enough so that it does oh perfect see you don't want it to stick out your book because then it would get beat up so that's the purpose of the mirror image and oversized embellishments in the paper phenomenon collections look at that off the edge pocket stuffers just gorgeous guys and i've showed this i've showed this technique throughout the years i'm just highlighting it with this um uh, collection oh my gosh how darling look at that look at that anyway seaside escape it's in the shop right now guys you can get it in the digital version and in the printed version so if either way i've got you covered and there's so many more collections in there so many new ones coming out they are really really gorgeous and you get what i like to call an all-inclusive collection you get embellishments papers pocket cards everything in one collection and they're just so much fun. Look, no pattern paper and how darling does this look? If there was just a picture on here, we're done. Done, done, and done. Beautiful. Seaside Escape. Let's take a look at those pattern papers right now. Here's the Seaside Escape collection. It's absolutely beautiful. This collection is super versatile because you can use this for a gorgeous tropical vacation It's also perfectly, perfectly designed for beautiful summer nights on the patio, cookouts, hanging out with the family, as well as beautiful, it'll host beautiful pictures of your little ones playing in their little sandboxes or building sandcastles on the beach. It's so, so gorgeous. It's got a beautiful mix of colors. It's got a range of soft, beautiful images with the blurred lines that I love in a paper collection. Look at, at, look at these beautiful embellishments they are just gorgeous i just shared this with you guys and gave you a few little ideas but can you imagine incorporating this into a project i really have to think about what project we're going to use we're going to make to use this collection the pocket cards are darling and just so many papers to choose from this collection has about 56 pieces in it, I believe, between pattern papers and embellishment sheets. 
so it is huge remember the printed collection will only have 48 pieces front and back so 24 pieces and then 48 different images because they're double-sided and when i say by images i mean between papers and embellishments so there will be quite a few items that you will quite a few pattern papers that you don't get in the printed that you do get in the uh, digital version so it's complete with even what i like to call the cardstock colors which are these uh plain uh, colors that you see right here so you get a cardstock color for every color in the collection really really beautiful guys seaside escape you can find it now on paperphenomenon.com and when i release something there's always a discount so take advantage of that thank you for joining me on this paper collection chit chat <music>